Hi, and welcome to this express heart opening practice. You're going to need yourself and your mat, and that's about it. So, let's start. Let's inhale, reaching the arms around and up. And then join the hands together overhead and draw your hands down in front of your chest. Now release your right hand down behind you and as you inhale make a circle with your right arm overhead like a helicopter blade and go to the other side left hand down bend your right elbow if you like to make that circle other side already opening the chest and the shoulders cool bring your hands behind you interlace your fingers Point your knuckles down, lift your chest up. Lift your gaze up if you like, or you look forward. And release it all. Let's go to Downward Facing Dog. Keep your feet hips distance apart. Press down with your hands, lift your hips. And you can shake your hips, you can pedal your dog. From here, plank pose, wave yourself forward and then lower the knees. Can you lower down, fight the fall, fight the fall. Inhale for baby cobra, elbows in. Exhale your forehead down. Press into a child's pose, hips to the heels. And then slide your hands back towards your heels as you peel your chest off your thighs. This is a mini baby cobra. Sorry, camel. <laughs> Bring your hands forward, downward facing dog. One more like that. Inhale forward to plank. Lower the knees or don't lower the knees. Just fight the fall. Resist as you lower down. Inhale, baby cobra, elbows in. Maybe this time lift your hands off the mat. Engage your middle and upper back muscles and child's pose. Hands slide back towards the heels. Inhale, lift your chest. Maybe pressing down with your fingers. You can lift your hips as well. And lower it down. One more time, go forward and lower all the way to the floor. Bring your right arm to the right side, bend the left knee and flip over. Bring your left toes to the floor and then maybe you can reach your left arm behind you and interlace your fingers. So that's an option. The other option is to keep your left hand down on the floor. Ah, I stretch for your pecs and let's go to the other side. Bend the right knee, bring the left ear to the mat and roll over your left hip. Either your right hand stays down or you reach your right arm behind and maybe you can find your fingers behind you. This side is not as easy for me, that's for sure. So you may have this, these disparities from left to right, but it doesn't matter. Just observe what's going on. And it's downward facing dog from here. Come up on the tippy toes, bend the knees and step or jump all the way to the front. Shake your head, grab your thumbs behind you, bring the right thumb over the left thumb, extend your arms, shake your head yes and no. The chest is resting on your thighs, your knees are bent and really sit down, roll yourself up to stand. All right, how is it going so far? I think it's going fabulous. Bring your right knee up, bend the left knee as well, and hinge forward, coming towards a warrior three, and then step it back for a high lunge. Arms go up, bend the front knee, lean forward, and squeeze between your arms, between your hands. And then from here, land the back heel down 
and open the left, put a little more to the left for warrior one, reach your arms up, then bring your hands behind, hook the right thumb on top of your left thumb, lengthen your arms, right shoulder comes a little more forward, devotional warrior, head down, arms high, shake it out, bring your right hand down, unstick the back heel off the mat and twist to the left side. Both hands go down and step the right foot forward to the top of the mat. Shake your head loose, bend the knees, bring your hands behind you and this time hook the left thumb over the right thumb. Shake your head as you bring your arms forward towards the front of the mat as much as you can. Slowly let go of your hands and round it all up. Okay, same as we did just before. Left knee goes up, flex your left foot, and then you can bring your arms towards the back, bend the right knee, and extend the left leg. Press through the left heel for warrior three, bend the right knee more, and land in a high lunge. Reach your arms up, bring your arms towards the back, do this preparation for warrior three, squeeze your hands together and then land the left heel down, widen the right foot more to the right for warrior one on that right side. Hands go behind left thumb over the right thumb, extend your arms, lift your gaze and devotional warrior. Head goes down, down, arms go high, press down through your legs and release the left hand down, take the left heel off the mat and twist it to the right. Both hands go down and step the back foot forward. Once again, shake it out. Bring your hands to the mat and step it back. Downward facing dog and then lower the knees down. Sit on your heels. We're going to practice a couple of variations of camel pose. So the one, the one variation is to bring your hands to your jeans pockets, bring your elbows in and lift through your sternum. So this is Option one. Option two is to lift your hips and do the same thing. You want to point your tailbone down as you lift your sternum up. Option three is to reach for your heels. And breathe. There is an option four as well, which consists of pointing your toes and reaching for your heels, which is a huh, a, a more long distance to cover. So let's take another two breaths here. And look forward, up or back, as you feel is right for your own neck. And slowly let go. And we're going to go into a child's pose. Ah, bring the knees a little wider and bring your forehead down. Move your hips side to side. That's a good release for your back. Something else that I like very much for as a chest opener is praying child. So you can stay exactly as you are. Just bend at your elbows, bring your hands together, bring your forehead down and bring your thumbs behind the nape of your neck, of your leg. Inhale. And exhale. You can stay here for longer, but you can also come up. And here we are once again. I hope you feel a little brighter, a little more open. 
more less rounded in your posture thank you so much for opening up your heart with me and i hope to see you next time